Hello again, Year 6. Quite a lot's happened since I last did a video for you. So you've had half term. I hope you had a lovely time. Uh, some of you have gone back to school. Some of you are still at home. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're keeping safe. I hope you're managing to do some schoolwork. And I hope you're feeling really confident about joining us in September. So a few updates from me. You've all received in the post so far a letter telling you that you're in uh, either 7L, 7I, 7S, 7K, E, A or R. So you now know which tutor group you're in. I hope you're feeling really excited about that. I hope that's made you think, all right, now I know what, what's going to be happening in September. I know who I'm going to be with. Um, I can't wait to start. If, however, you're at home and you're not feeling like that, if you're feeling particularly anxious or worried, please ask your parents or carers to get in touch with me. There are lots of things I can do, even though we cannot physically meet. There's lots of things I can do to help support you and make you feel happier about the change in school that you've got coming up. So one, people, one set of people who are really happy and excited at the moment are your peer mentors. They have now received their bright yellow peer mentor sweatshirts. So they are going to be highly visible and recognisable to you um, when you come on site with us. Um, they have been continuing to put together some videos for you. So I'm going to hand over now to Maya. Maya has put together a little video for you about equipment and essential things that you need to bring with you to school. Now, a little challenge for you. You've received one of these booklets in the post and in there it tells you the essential items of equipment. So Maya's going to talk about those on her little video, but my challenge to you, can you spot an item of equipment that Maya says is essential, but it's not actually part of our essential equipment list? OK, so if you want to grab this, pause the video and have a quick look to remind yourself about what is essential, what you must bring to school with you every day, feel free. If it's already up here in your head and you think you can spot it, then that's great as well. So here we go. Bear with me. See if I can share this for you. Hi, my name's Maya and I'm one of the peer mentors for 7E this year. The reason why I signed up to be peer mentor is because I love helping others and would be happy to help you too. I want to make the transition as easy as possible this year. I'm sure you have lots of questions, but today I'm here to talk to you about your books, your planner and your stationery. So here we go. You will need, and this is one of the most arguably important things, a blue or black pen. I always make sure to have spare because you'll never know when you need them. A pencil and a rubber, a ruler, a sharpener, probably one you can use at your desk and empty at a later date, a pair of scissors but not ridiculous size ones, a scientific Casio calculator, or different coloured um, highlighters for colour coding, mind maps, especially yellow and orange, a glue stick, not too big, not too small, but make sure it works. And some purple dip pens. They have to be purple, purple dip pens. So next we have your subject books. Your teachers will supply you with your subject books. And a common question is whether or not you'll have them on your back, all your books on your back 24-7. The answer to that is no, not really. I don't think you will. Some teachers prefer to keep it with them, or some of you might have lockers, but it's most likely you won't have them all on you at all times. Um, your planner. You will get given your planner with a school supplies it. You will write your name, your tutor group, your head of year and your house on it. Inside you can drop down your pack, you can drop down your detentions, your when the time comes, your parents' evening, you can your passwords, even with a little whiteboard and like material poly pockets you can put stuff in. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Good luck and I'll see you in September. OK, so did you spot it? OK, the essential piece of equipment, which Maya said you must bring to school, was well, actually a pair of scissors. Very helpful things to have. However, they are not part of our 
essential equipment list. So if you haven't had a chance to look through the booklet yet, please do have a look at it at home or at school. I've also put together for you um, seven different challenges that you can complete using the booklet. And by completing these challenges, it helps you understand a little bit more about the systems and the rules and the procedures up at Liscard School. So just before I end, a couple of updates from me. You'll be receiving um, in the post a few more things from me over the next couple of weeks. First of all, and probably the most exciting, is that whilst you know at the moment which tutor group you're in, you don't know who your tutor actually is. So I'm pleased to tell you that I've been able to finalise that this week and that your tutor at the moment is writing a letter um, and including a photograph of themselves, which I'll be then sending out to you so that you know a little bit about the tutor that you've got in September. The tutor is a really, really important person in your life. They are going to be the person that you see every day, your first point of contact to ask any questions. They will help you with your schoolwork. They'll also help you with any other things, um, friendships, um, worries, anxieties, anything that you need to talk about, you can speak to your tutor about. Um, secondly, I'm also working on a virtual tour of the school, so you can see the inside of the school building. Um, more on that to follow shortly. Um, and that means that you should now be in quite a good place to know everything that you need to know. If you want to get in contact any time, um, you've got my email address and um, I'm here to help. So meanwhile, stay safe um, and I hope to speak to you again soon. Bye bye.